Hi, AP Human Geography students. This is Mrs. Wildy. This is going to be a video lecture um, that will probably be done in three or four different parts um, over Unit 1 or Chapter 1. Um, mostly, this is just an overview of geography in general. Certainly, we'll talk about um, the way that maps work, map projections, map scale. We'll also talk about um, the tools that, that geographers use, and we'll finally um, discuss the five themes of geography and with a little more detail on culture. Um, I do want to give credit to this teacher who made the slides. Um, the wording and the, the images and all of that are, um, are done by this teacher, Daniel Island. I'm just recording some information that might go along with it. So um, I do want to give credit to this teacher. Um, as I said just a second ago, um, this unit has three main sections, sort of an introduction to geography, um, the tools that geographers use, and then the five themes of geography. So in terms of our just general information, we need to first off start off with a, with a, with a definition of geography. Um, so this sort of textbook definition is geography is the systematic study of the spatial patterns of all phenomena on or near the Earth's surface. Um, I want you to pay special attention to the word spatial. Um, I think that this throws you off sometimes, and it shouldn't, but we're going to talk about the spatial interactions or the spatial distribution or um, phenomena within spatial areas, and that just means it, an area, space, or, or um, it can be something very local, like, like the um, spatial distribution of students at Peachtree Ridge, and can also be global in terms of the um, spatial, spatial interaction between um, religions around the world. Those would be both sort of examples of this um, phenomena. But you're going to be discussing those, studying them, um, and we'll talk a little bit more about um, you know, what that's about in just a second. So scientific descriptive study of the Earth's surface. Geography literally means like the Earth, um, studying study of the Earth. Um, certainly we'll get into both the physical and the human aspects of that. So it's the interactions between people and their environment. It is the study of spatial and local variation. And so again, we've got that word spatial. It's, it's it's the widespread as well as um, or global versus local. Um, uh, making those connections between those two things is a part of it. Study of spatial patterns, how things um, that are similar show up on the Earth's surface, as well as how those patterns differ from you know other aspects. Um, you oftentimes in AP Human will talk about, or the, the exam will talk about, the, the why of where. So again, um, you know, the geography certainly has that where aspect taken into consideration. Where something is located or, um, um, you know, the location of something. But why it's there or why people have gathered at that place or where it is, all of those kind of questions are what we talk about within human geography. So, for example, here's one of those questions that I want you to consider. What is the above a picture of? And I'm, I'm referring to the one on the left, obviously. Um, why might it have been built the way that it was? And so the one on the right sort of gives you a little bit more um, um, visual um, look at it um, on a map. But what is it of, and why do you think it was built that way? So I want you to consider that, and then um, we'll discuss that within class. Um, in terms of this image, this is a night satellite image of Earth. Why are some areas brighter than others? I think that's probably fairly obvious. How would it have looked 200 years ago? Um, another concept I want to really bring into your, um, into your thought processes is, is the idea of globalization and that concept that we're no longer separated so much from the rest of the world because of the communication and transportation networks that we have we're 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 really very interrelated interconnected with others in the world around the world so globalization is a huge part of of this um 
of this course. Um, and so looking at the, the changes that have occurred over time and what that's done to the earth and how that changes the spatial distribution of people or resources, those kind of things, is a big part of what we're going to talk about this year. Um, so, some important geographers. Um, Aristotle was a geographer. He was a philosopher and a geographer. Um, and he was the first person that is credited with um, demonstrating that the Earth was spher spherical. Um, Aristosthenes was um, a, a geographer that, um, and a mathematician really, that calculated the circumference of the Earth. Um, uh, very instrumental in lots of geometry that you may be learning about, as well as um, geography. Um, this is one of the maps um, associated with him. Um, and I want you to kind of look at it, look at the descriptions that are in it, the, the landforms. Um, and we're going to also do a comparison a little bit later. So you may have to refer back to this. Um, Ptolemy was um, a wrote a book about geography um, and also specifically about more of the physical geography um, like longitude and latitude lines. So um, so again we will definitely be talking about those. I want to make sure you understand which ones are, which ones are latitude and which are longitude. You need to know that. Um, and then that those are used to describe something called absolute location. So if you want to know the very specific point at which you know Lawrenceville is on the map of the of the world you would look at its latitude and longitude. Um, Khalid Rizzi was an Arabic um, geographer who um, created um, a, a pretty good accurate representation of the world. This is this is what his his representation of the world was. Um, and it's although it doesn't have uh, descriptions that you can really read, you can still sort of see the land, the patterns, um, lots of islands, of course, water. Um, and um, I, I would think you should do a comparison between this one and this one, um, as well as going back even further. Um, that's what I want you to start doing, is sort of comparing these and seeing the changes that you're seeing. Um, Ortelius was uh, designed the first atlas, and atlas is really just a collection of maps. Um, his, his atlas was called the theater of the world, and so this would be somewhat more of what we would, we would you know, typically see within an atlas or a, or a book of maps today. Changed. Um, George Perkins Marsh was um, very much uh, interested in how um, nature or the physical is affected by the human. So he was he was considered the modern environmentalist, very much about how humans have um, pro mostly negatively affected the environment. Um, but also, of course, it's important for us to realize that it's not all bad um, and um, and you know humans do have a positive um, relationship with the environment as well, or can. Um, Carl Saar is a man you're going to hear a whole lot about in human geography. They really like him on the AP exam, so please you know learn his name. Um, he's very much associated with the cultural landscape, which we will talk about in almost every single chapter. Um, but that, of course, if you're talking about cultural, it has to be human related. It has to be about what the humans are doing on the landscape. And that can be physical, that can be how the humans are affecting the physical environment, like the, the trees and the climate and the um, landforms, but it can also be how humans have transformed the landscape and left their own mark on it in terms of buildings, in terms of um, human-made you know, parks and schools and, and religious institutions and restaurants and all of those kind of things too. And he basically said, you know, that interaction of people and their environment is really what we should focus on within geography, um, much more than just the, the physical. Um, so he's a big part of who we talk about in human geography. He's going to come up quite a bit within um, when we talk about agriculture, when we talk about um, 
um, culture in general and how it's diffused, um, and and something called sequent occupants, which is sort of the 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 imprint or the um, effects that people, humans, have left on the um, environment, on the landscape through, throughout time. So we'll talk more about that in a little bit. Um, so, you know,